I'm a little anxious and I'm looking forward to, to seeing the series and I'm hoping, what I'm hopeful for is that they're going to celebrate the sacrifice of the soldiers, airmen, marines and their families and the price that they paid for our country so that we could enjoy our freedoms today. I have two teenage daughters and it's hard to put war in perspective. You know, for us younger veterans who have served overseas in conflict, and I don't think the nation really understands, like, whole of nation, what it means to go to war. You know, General Milley, the chief of staff of the Army, said last week, you know, the Army doesn't go to war. To go to war means the nation goes to war. And that's one of the problems we had as a nation in Vietnam, is we weren't all unified in that effort. So what I'm hopeful is that people understand how much was sacrificed and how unity as a nation is so important for us as a country to continue to grow and get better. One of the things I think that the public misses about the military is values. Um, you know, you see the headlines all the time about somebody in the military did something bad or wrong, but we're a very self-correcting organization that's very values driven. And you know, the values of the Army, the values of, of the service branches are really America's values. And um, I think that that keeps us strong as a nation. And I think sometimes you just get lost in the headline, how much, um, how strong those values are to us and, and the service and the commitment that we have um, for ourselves and for our nation. We have a lot of nonprofits that are trying to help veterans. Um, we still have large populations, especially Vietnam veterans, who have unclaimed benefits. Um, if you have a neighbor, a friend, somebody that you know that's served in the military, you know, ask them about their service, but also ask them if they're getting help. You know, there's 1-800-MICH-VET, which is a state of Michigan initiative to make sure veterans get routed to the benefits that they've earned. A lot of time, people confuse military service and being a veteran. A lot of vet veterans don't understand that they served in uniform, guard, reserve, maybe they didn't even go to Vietnam, but they're still entitled to some form of benefit. We have a lot of people getting that older age, the Vietnam era, beyond 60, who could probably use some help and they've earned some benefits and they're going unclaimed. Watch September 17th at 8 p.m.